microcasting for your city. Talkopolis. Hi everyone, I'm Greta Gaines. You're watching Emerging Artists. Our guests this week are the Malden Brothers. Hey there, guys. Hey, how's it going? The Malden Brothers are in the studio. That's right, man. So, Live and in color. So exciting. Double trouble. That's Ooh. it, right here, baby. I know. So have there been any other identical twin brother bands? There have been a few, but not like the Malden Brothers. Right. No. Not as successful as the Malden Brothers. Really? Yeah. Right. Have we Four ever heard of it? I mean, can you name like an abs abs identical twin guy group? What's their the, the Nelsons, the right? Nelsons. The Nelsons. The Nelsons. There's the a Nelsons. country music act, the Carter Twins. Okay. And they were, I've seen them around town, mm -hmm. but I've never seen them perform. Mm -hmm. But I, I've heard that they were in the industry for a, a they little bit. They do country music, but that's about it. There's, yeah. there's not really any twins. It's kind of wide open acts. for you guys yep. in terms of a playing field. Now, before we get into the music, and there's a lot to talk about in the music, you guys have some special skills, other skills, that we should just go ahead and get out of the way. Because the more I get to know you guys, um, I kind of see sometimes what people say about me. It's almost annoying. It's like, oh, you do that? Oh, you do that? But you really not only do that, you do a lot of things on like a, on a really high level. Well, I, I really appreciate that. Okay, Thank so you. tell us some of those other things that you do outside of music. Okay, well, one of our hidden talents back in the day, like 2004 and five. We were the world champion turkey callers. World champion turkey callers. That's right, and uh, that's that's one of our claims to fame. Mm -hmm. And we won the uh, championship and placed also in the top three three times in a row uh, with our natural voice. No calls at all. No calls at all. By no calls, by people out there who maybe aren't in-depth fans of turkey calling, a lot of times they use a prophylactic, I happen to know about this, mm -hmm. a prophylactic in their mouths to give them that it's got I a can't do diaphragm. It. They use a little diaphragm to to imitate what a lady turkey That's sounds correct. like, right? Mm -hmm. I'm the very hen. impressed. But y'all are do it without the prophylactic in your mouth. You do it with your own natural voice. Natural voice. Exactly. So can we hear just a tiny smidgen of what that sounds like? Just a little scotch. Just See, a little teaser. If if a turkey in the woods can do this call, why can't we do it with our natural voice? I mean, aren't we as smart as turkeys? I don't know. That's Let's a hard see. question. We're, we're just going to try try our best here. This this is our impression of the wild turkey. <laughs> Unbelievable! Like I could listen to that all day. Oh, hold on. I, I see that. some pecking through the windows. Everybody, I know. Get down. I started to do this just inadvertently. <clears throat> um, that's sexy stuff. I totally see why uh, a male turkey would come running to hear more of that. So that's one thing. But you're awesome athletes. Yeah. You're awesome painters, and and you can you can. What else can you do? What? You're man of the woods, man yeah, of the wild. We're, we're, we're Professional we, hunters. We've we've been hunting since we were two years old. Love the outdoors. Really love the do. Outdoors. Um, we've uh, throughout our childhood, we've been on a lot of outdoor TV shows. Also hosted several different shows and had a lot of good sponsors behind us. And one thing led to another. We really took a liking to our music, and we just slowly let that, in, you know, evolve into what it is now. And uh, we're we're really putting a lot of focus on our music, and um, we we're really excited about being in Nashville because we've we've been spread out for the past few years, but now we've been here for like six months, and we've really got a great focus and a good sound coming. Got a new album. Got a new, new album. album. What's the name of the new album? <coughs> we haven't named it yet. Okay, maybe we, our viewers, and maybe we can figure this out. We can get this like sewn up today. Come up with a new album. Yeah. But why don't we listen to some music so the people at home can get a sense? Oh, because absolutely. when I first heard your music, it was different from what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. I was expecting kind of a classic Southern rock. You're from Mississippi, kind of maybe an Almond Brothers kind of sound, but it's totally different, right? It is. Now this the song that that we're setting up coming up is uh it's a little bit on the uh, hip hop side hip, hip hop poppy rock side mm -hmm. and um, there are other songs on the album that are very southern rock that that you would consider close to like the Almond Brothers or, so it's a modern eclectic but yeah. still would you call it a southern rock sound overall or? I was more more of like a just a poppy rock more more popish than southern rock but the idea <clears> is to get people in the clubs and to hear you guys live. Absolutely. Like great dance music, yeah. you know, kind of like a cross between Maroon 5, CeeLo Green kind of stuff. Yeah. 
totally fine. The kids mm. are going to love it. Should yep, we listen yep. to a little? Man, let's listen okay, to it. Okay, here's a track. It's called Ride Till the Break. Let's Check it, it out. <laughs> Wow, so fun! Love it. Thank you so much. So we don't have a we don't have a title yet, but we know that this album is going to be a pop joyride, mm -hmm. rocking good time. I every heard, song's going to be great. Every yeah. song's going to be we, great. We do have one kind of bluesy, kind of bluesy jazzy sound. It's uh, called Down the Water, so I play the harmonica in that one. That one's pretty cool. It's just uh, just a good jam song. But every song's great. You're going to go through the whole album and not want to miss a single song. That's the goal. Yep. yep. Okay, so what about We Are the Malden Brothers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a title. We Are the Malden Brothers. We were you thinking know, about Malden Brothers and Company. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I mean, we I mean, we are the Malden Brothers. That's that's who we are. That's that's who you are. Yeah. I don't know. I love titles like that. They're just like, who are you cool. guys? We are the Malden Brothers. We are the Malden Brothers. That's so cool. what's the plan for world domination? Cuz you guys, I love this about you. Pretty cocky. You're feeling it. You have no doubt in your mind that this album and this music is going to take you guys where you want to go. We really we really feel that confident that it is. We're working on a fall tour right now. We've had a lot of good musicians on this this album play with us and um, it's inspiring to have musicians who've already had a lot of success come to you and want to work and want to work on your album. And um, Kenny Olson, you know, played with Kid Rock for 12 years. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's about to go. Yeah, well. I know Kenny. He's, yeah, he's about to go on he, tour I think he with us. He played on like seven of the tracks out of the ten, on, and we've actually been playing with Kenny uh, several different gigs. Um, he he has the Kenny Olsen Cartel. Yeah, and um, and you know, for the CMAs we played with him, and um, and now we have a lot of people that are really interested and like the sound. You got a great percussionist and our producer Pino Squalacci. He's uh, just come up with some awesome stuff and great beats. He is the beat master. He is the yeah. beat master. Yeah. He's a he, crazy awesome personality. Yeah. A lot of spirit there. A lot of spirit. But you're not at all intimidated by Nashville. You know, a lot of people come into this town and, and, and it takes them more than six months to get their footing because there's so much talent here and so much music that's going on. But what are your feelings about Nashville as a music town and a place to try to break out? Well, after living in Hollywood for the past eight years, literally, you, from being on the TV scene there, it's it's kind of a, like you go from a big Hollywood deal, then you come back to Nashville. So it's, it's more like a, a hometown <coughs> feel here to us. Yeah, exactly. it really is. And I you're did, southern. Yeah, exactly. then there's no no in, uh, intimidation at all. It, I, we feel comfortable. I feel right at home, and there's a lot of good people here, and um, you know, it, it's a small town too. Yeah. And so five years, where do you guys want to be? In five years, I would hopefully have a... Be on my private jet going to the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Drinking Corona Lights with Kenny Chesney down yeah. on the island somewhere. That's, that, hey, that's good cool It sounds me. pretty good. Any advice for guys like you, youngsters coming to town, trying to make it in Nashville? Uh, don't, don't stop believing. It's, no. it's, a, it's a tough gig out there to be a musician and, and an aspiring artist, but don't give up because as tough as it gets out there, just stay true to your music and don't follow stop. Follow your heart. Yeah. Follow your heart. Really. And there's, you know, like you said, there is a lot of uh, musicians here which can make it intimidating. But, y you know, if if you truly have a desire that there's something that you want to do, I, I think you should do it. And, and there are a lot of, uh, I mean, everyday new musicians come to Nashville and uh, they go to the scenes and they see all these amazing musicians who are just incredible, master musicians. And some of them get discouraged, but for the people out there, you know, that are rookies and wanting to start and and get in this industry, you just gotta follow your heart and and keep on pushing and never give up because it's not an easy industry. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been in this industry for over 15 years, and it's like a roller coaster. Yeah. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. But you guys have each other, which we do. I love. Exactly. I helps. wish I had an identical twin to do this show with me. That would be neat. Except she'd probably want to do all the talking and <laughs> I'd have to kick her off. Um, can we hear some live music? Would that be possible? That would be great. I'd love yep. to play you guys a song. Now, 
I want to set you guys up for this song. This song is nothing like the song that you just heard. It's not like Ride Till the Break. This song right here is a little bit softer, um, softer rock, but it's got a good feel. It's um, well, how What's the it's, name it's, of a, it? it's about. It's called. Well, we're, we're going with the title. She wants it, but um, we just wrote the song literally and just finished the vocals. So it's it's a great wild song about two it, two uh, two people who are two people madly who, in love in a sense and, and they are, are trying to play the game of love. And you know, this is yeah. You, what just, just, you should just listen to it. And see I'm gonna think. listen to yeah. it. Stick around. I'm Greta Gaines. You've been watching Emerging Artist. Our guest this week, the one and only Malden Brothers, and we're gonna have a tune coming up. So stick around. Microcasting for your city. Talk Opus.